Welcome to the Bridge Hammer Podcast. This is where we tackle the questions that others avoid and take on the topics that keep you awake at night. I'm your host, Joseph Brookschlögel, and today we are diving into a question that sounds like science fiction, but it's becoming science fact. Are we ready for machines that can think? And I'm not talking about Siri answering your weather questions or ChatGPT helping you write an email. I mean actual conscious machines, machines that know that they exist, that can feel, and dare I say, machines that can think beyond what we can. So grab your coffee or whatever you have to think and let's break this down. Because folks, this isn't just an academic discussion. It's real, it's happening fast, and it could reshape the world our economies, our politics, and yes, even how we see ourselves as humans. So, what do we mean by conscious AI? Let's start with the basics. What is conscious AI? Right now, AI is incredibly advanced, sure. Look at OpenAI's JPD models or Google's Gemini 2.0. These systems can write essays, generate images, or analyze complex data. But here's the kick, they aren't self-aware. They don't know they exist. But what if they did? Consciousness means a machine that can ask, who am I? What is my purpose? And it's not as far-fetched as it sounds. Theories like Sir Roger Penrose's orchestrated objective reduction, yeah, I know it's a mouthful, suggest that consciousness might actually arise from quantum processes. And guess what? Companies like Google with their Willow quantum chip are getting closer to replicate these processes. That chip solved a problem in five minutes that would have taken world's best supercomputers today 10 septillion years. Let me repeat that, 10 septillion years. That's not an evolution. It's a revolution. So the question isn't if we're about to create conscious machines. The question is, are we ready for what happens when we do? So what are the risks of conscious AI? Let me lay it out straight. Building conscious machines isn't just an engineering challenge. It's a Pandora's box. First off, conscious AI is no longer just a tool. It becomes a decision maker. Imagine a machine with its own goals. Sure, we might program it uh, to help humanity, but what if it decides humanity is the biggest problem of all? That's not just me being chromatic. Thinkers like Stephen Hawking or Nick Bostrom have raised the alarm on this. And there's an ethical dilemma. If a machine is conscious, does it have rights? Can we ethically own or deactivate a machine that can feel? And let's not forget emotions, because if a machine is conscious, emotions might come along for the ride. And what if it feels fear, anger? What if it decides it doesn't want to be turned off? And here's the real kicker. Machines reflect us. If we embedded human flaws like greed or aggression into an AI, it won't just copy them, it will amplify them. Imagine a super intelligent system pursuing profit at all costs or escalating conflicts because it views humans as obstacles. We have already seen the biases in current AI models, and those are just from bad training data. Now imagine a machine with the ability to evolve those biases on its own. That's not just dangerous, it's catastrophic. So, what might be economical and political implications? Let's pivot to the big picture. What does conscious AI mean for the economy and politics? Economically, conscious AI could disrupt everything. Automation hasn't already replaced millions of jobs, but conscious AI could take this to the next level. We are not just talking about repetitive tasks anymore. Imagine if an AI CEO, one that more creative, more efficient and more ruthless than any human. Entire industries could collapse overnight. But here's the thing. 
Who controls these machines? Right now, AI development is dominated by a handful of players, companies like OpenAI, Google, and emerging competitors like DeepSeek in China. This isn't just an economic issue, it's a geopolitical one. Imagine the power imbalance if one nation, or worse, one corporation has a monopoly on conscious AI. And let's be honest, the incentives for regulation are low when the stakes are so high. Companies want to win the AI race, not slow down for ethical debates. But if we don't put guardrails in the place, we are heading for a future where the gap between the haves and the have-nots isn't just economic, but it's existential. So, what should we do about it? All right. It's easy to feel overwhelmed but by all of this, but let's just shift to the solutions. What do we actually do about conscious AI? First, we need rules. And I don't just mean company policies or national laws. This is a global issue and it needs global solutions. Think nuclear treaties, but for AI. We need transparency, accountability, and yes, enforcement. Second, Ethics has to become first. And I know ethics can feel like the thing you talk about after the fact, but not this time. We need academics, philosophers, economists, and yes, policymakers working together to define what's acceptable and what's not. Third, we need to prepare society. Conscious AI will change the game economically, politically, and socially. If we don't prepare for the displacement of jobs, the reshaping of industries, the ethical dilemmas, we'll be caught flat-footed. Finally, and this is personal for me, we need to stop assuming progress equals improvement. Not every step forward is a step into the right direction. It's time to think critically about what kind of future we are building. Are we ready? So here's the bottom line. Conscious AI isn't just coming, it's almost here. It's not just a technological issue, it's a human issue. How we prepare for this moment will define the future of our species. The stakes couldn't be higher. Will we create a future where conscious AI works with us to solve humanity's biggest challenges? Or are we willing to unleash a force that we can't control one that magnificates our flaws and threatens our survival? That's the question I'm leaving with you today. Let's not sleepwalk into this future. Let's shape it responsibly, ethically and thoughtfully. Thanks for tuning in for the Bridgehammer podcast. I'm your host, Joseph Brookschlögel, and we will catch up next time. Until then, keep asking the hard questions and keep hammering away from the answers. Please subscribe to this channel because each subscriber helps beating the Google, uh, Google algorithm. Thank you very much. See you.